Today should be a great day because we're gonna try to fly three planes in this one video. Now we're losing daylight pretty quickly, so we're gonna try something different and talk less and fly more. So let's go. Ooh, nice takeoff. That was a really good hand launch. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen you hand launch that good. <laughs> you do like, like this one. Set. Yeah, so uh, this is pretty exciting because Arrows is, I think, I think it starts now. It might be like a day early, but they're running a sale on a lot of their stuff. This is one of them. And uh, I really like the setup. I've, this has been on the channel before and we've got it just honed in now to fly absolutely perfectly. So they've got this cool sale going on. We're flying a few different Arrows things in this video so you guys can see a little bit of variety. Arrows is a great, great brand because they don't have the giant um, price tag with it that we see in <laughs> everything right now. And I'm just cruising at like half throttle. So let's do like a full throttle pass down the runway. So this jet does come with the vector flight stabilization and it's on right now, which really helps on hand launch. Here's full throttle. And let's turn it off and roll it. Oh yeah, I love that roll rate. That's so nice. Here we go, right down the runway. Woo, cool. snappy. Yeah. 3S, this is flying on 3S. You guys would have thought 4S if I didn't say anything, I guarantee it. I like the roll rate of this, just defaulting out of the box. It's a very nice roll rate. It's not sluggish or slow. It flies really well. <laughs> As I don't fly it well, I tried to hold inverted and I rolled over a little too far and then my brain panicked a second. So that's what happened there, but it does fly really well. It's very trackable if you're not trying to show off or anything. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, but the other way. <laughs> Concentration, <laughs> I'm inverted. As you can saw, uh, as you saw, it does a pretty good outside loop. This is 3S. Abby, do you want to see will it snap? Will oh, it snap? We already know it will. There, it's like a roll. It really doesn't snap <laughs> too great because there's no rudder. So we don't have rudder on this EDF and that's what keeps the price down. We also don't have landing gear, flaps, or retracts. This is a basic EDF. It sounds good. And it looks really good looks really good and it flies even better and i think that's the best thing about this now it's i say if you want to have a hand launching edf very beginner friendly because it comes with that vectored flight stabilizer it's very simple to use it's the simplest simplest uh flight stabilization that's out there because you just plug it in to a channel assign it to a channel just like rudder or ailerons would be and it works it just is assigned to a switch and it's either on or off so here we go we'll turn it upside down and i'm going to kick it on kicked it on and it snaps itself back over very easily and all this does is limit the bank i can push full left which is what i just did and it won't turn the plane upside down here's full right full left full right full left and the reason for that is so beginner will get their hands on the controls and not uh, push the plane past what it what it can or can't what the person can't do so if you push full right now it just rolls all the way over and you have to counter that okay so uh yeah i love how beginner friendly this is i want to show you guys another edf the arrows makes it's the bae hawk i like to call it the bay hawk and we'll, we'll show you a little cool uh job that abby did on it it's really awesome she made a custom sticker and decal set up let's see if we can get this landed and not hit the light okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i thought that i would try a different battery i mean everything's this is why i like this rc because it's a very budget friendly rc i notice i'm flying on a budget friendly radio at least for spectrum and then this is a new battery that i'm flying on i've, I've had these before 
but I'm really pushing heavily into this now because this is half the price of most batteries I've been flying on. And if you buy them in like a two pack, it saves a few more bucks. So uh, I really like the performance on that. That was really good. Now we're gonna put the same battery in this and I want you guys to see this. So Abby made this custom sticker. Ignore the, that was from a speed test. I, I didn't that, that. Yeah, that was the GPS meter <laughs> getting yanked off of there, sadly. And then we put stars on it, extra stars that she made. And doesn't that lion head and mane look amazing? That's all Abby. <laughs> she did a really good job. There's more stars on the bottom too. We just, you know, wanted to customize the jet. If we have time, which we don't with two kids, it'd be nice if we could do that to more of our stuff. <laughs> but it looks good, Abby. I like oh, it. a couple of them are peeling, I well, see. from the grass, you yeah. know, the wet grass. That's okay. <laughs> Let's fly. Wow, two for two on the hand launches. It's Nathan's day. <laughs> he hates hand launching so much. These though, you're not struggling at all with that. Getting better. You I think, are. I think all these little EDFs and flying them <laughs> repeatedly, I've kind of got the muscle memory down. And... <laughs> So I love the Bayhawk, and it's no disrespect when I say Bayhawk, I think it just sounds cool. I know it's a BAE Hawk, it's a British airline kind of thing. A British, what's it stand for? British airline? I can't, I can't remember, but it is British. And uh, well, I just like Bayhawk, I think it sounds really awesome. So I love that it's bright red, plain and simple. It's very easy to see, it looks awesome, it sounds really good. The British flag, the red, white, and blue on the back tail, the vertical stabilizer, looks great. And then Abby's artwork, I can see it and it makes it <laughs> pop. Um, another reason to love this plane, oh, I saw the stars on the bottom. Another reason to love this plane is because it has that flight stabilization, just like the T-33. And so it's very beginner friendly. Abby, seriously, we gotta put more decals on the planes. I love that. <laughs> I don't wanna crash it because it looks amazing. Let's do a full throttle pass. Oh no, sure, that's too far. Almost rolled over too far. And let's kick off the flight stabilization now and get a little more aggressive with it. You know, for budget flyers, this is just where it's at. The quality is there. It's there better than some other, uh, you know, at least half of what's out there. And the price is amazing. They've got good customer service, spare part availability. That's a 3S EDF doing that vertical climb. It's flying like it's on 4S. I don't know if it's because of the battery that I have in there or what, but I just feel like it's waking up more than it ever has before. Look at this thing. Isn't that awesome? It's on fire. It's My on goodness. Fire. It Sounds good too. The only thing we lose with this is no rudder, but as you guys can tell, I'm having a blast with it, with or without rudder. And it's super beginner friendly because it has the flight stabilization. It looks fast and sounds fast because it's a jet, but when you really think about it, it's flying about the same speed as a lot of airplanes we fly, okay? So when you turn that flight stabilization on, so let's do that, boom, and you're just putzing around at half throttle or so, you're flying a baby trainer. I mean, that's what it is. Hand launch and belly landing, so. You're saving on cost. You're allowed to crash and have mistakes. Now your T-33, it's gonna catch tall grass and rip those fuel tank tips off. It's gonna do it. And you're gonna hot glue them back on. But a plane like this, you don't have those. And I think it just looks fast and aggressive and really cool. Now, I also have another trainer plane that I brought up, a true trainer plane. It's ready to fly, keeping costs down even more for you if, for your first kind of airplane. So if you're watching this and you're like, man, that does look like fun. I'd like to get into that. The third plane I want to show you in this video is a ready to fly trainer. Now let's kick that stabilization off again, throttle up and just have oh. a little bit more fun before we, we land it. This is a very awesome EDF, and as I was saying, I'm pretty sure these are on their like Black Friday sale right now. You just gotta check. It's hard to manage it all. There's there's Black Friday sales and pre-Black Friday sales. I don't sales. understand it anymore. It's just so exhausting, but <laughs> if I can save you guys 20 bucks, I'm gonna save you 20 bucks and let you know about it. So it might be 20 bucks, it might be a little more than that. Isn't this just awesome? It's awesome, Let's right? See you land it. Tearing up the skies. Okay, we'll land it. 
I yeah, I can't even keep up with you I could sometimes. fly this all day. This is a really fun, I think I actually like this more than the C-33 personally after, <laughs> after I've ripped them both around. You like my cool decals. Oh, I do. That's all. Oh, let's see if I can save it, not break anything. That's not bad. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's oh. good. It didn't whip it around or anything. Wow. Well, this is a little ready to fly. What's nice is it's a pusher prop. So your prop is mounted in the back, protected from crashes. You're most likely, if you're gonna crash, go down like this or at some angle. It's very bendable, pliable, uh, durable foam, even in cold weather, and it's ready to fly. You get a battery, a USB charger, you get the radio, it's all included. And so it's the same brand as the other stuff. I think it's on sale too. If you're looking to get into RCs and especially arrows, then this is a really, really, really good way to do it. Just shove our battery in here. What you want to do, since we have beginner pilots, is let it sit on the ground, nice and level, and you wait. So we're, we're done. It, after it does its little dance, we're ready to go. Now we have ailerons, elevator, no rudder, and throttle, of course, and then this switch is our flight mode. So if you wanna know what mode you're in, you hold the plane and see how that's not sitting level anymore? We're in flight stabilized mode because it's trying to make the plane go level. If we flip the switch up, that's turned off. So we should be able to do some stunts and stuff. So let's fly it before we lose our daylight and have some fun. Talk about an easy hand launch. <laughs> this one comes- You're three for three today. <laughs> wow. That never happens. There might have been a blooper too. <laughs> well, I might show that at the end of the video, and that would actually no be. It, it was kind of, it was like a camera mistake blooper. Yes, so, it was. Uh, we can, it was my fault. He he's actually four for four. I am four for four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little bit. I'll talk about trim too. So right now the airplane wants to pull up some, or not anymore. It's only climbing a little bit, and so what I'll do is click down on the elevator to just kind of make it nose down some more. It's also banking to the right some on its own, so you just click the left and it should help it fly. What you want to do is when your hands free, the airplane should fly straight and level or maybe have a little bit of climb to it if it makes you feel more comfortable. Straight and level flight's my favorite kind of flight. Hey, it's not crashing, that's the best kind. Um, yeah, very, very, very beginner friendly airplane. Not as exciting as those two jets, but if you want to get something in the air, this is a great way to learn orientation, what what flying a, an RC plane is all about. You're not gonna hurt anyone or anything with this. It can literally smack me in the face here and it's not going to hurt because it's just, just putzing right along. But it's really fun and it, it does a good job at getting a person in the air. It comes in, I think, two pieces. I think I just had to put the main wing on, which just clicks into place. No screws required or anything. And that beep that you just heard on the radio, it lets you know you've been in the air one minute. This radio, as soon as you turn it on, it'll beep once a minute. And that's a good way to keep track of your flight time. It's one way to do it. If you're out flying by yourself and you've heard it beep five times, you know you've flown five minutes to keep track of uh, when it's time to land. Personally, I don't love it. I wish you could just turn that off, but it's the beeping. there. The beeping. <laughs> yeah. So this is very, very simple and super easy to fly, very casual, and uh, well, that's in flight stabilized mode. And I wanted to leave it in that mode because I feel like a lot of people uh, learning to fly will leave it in that mode. Let's turn it off and see if we can maybe pull off a stunt or two. Can we do a loop? I can't remember. Yeah. Kind of a sloppy loop, but we're doing it. Let's do it again. There we go. Oh, I just wow. needed to get a little more airspeed. Hey, we'll do a double oh loop. Oh my gosh. Maybe a triple loop. Oh, that was, that was barely, ran out of airspeed. Look out, birds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't remember if we can roll this or not. Let's try to hold inverted, Abby. There we go. There we go. We can hold you inverted. You are wild Now today. there's a lot of dihedral to this wing, so it's fighting me. It wants to pull back over, but. Do the can... safe switch so they can see it. Okay, er, sorry. Safe. It's not Whatever. safe. No, it's safe flight. <laughs> oh, I totally messed filming that up and calling it what it That's was. Okay. So what we did there was the airplane was upside down. And if we were to panic, we could just throw that switch and it whipped the plane back over and level, which is really nice. So I don't encourage you guys to do this, but I want to try it. Let's see if I can catch it. Nate always likes to catch pusher props. It's his favorite thing. <laughs> Easy. 
<laughs> and it's easy to launch. Just chuck it. Yeah. You can do that one. I did that left-handed, which um, normally I do, but I would have throttle on. I did that at zero throttle. So that's how confident I am in this little thing. It's just, just fun. Now, can we roll it? I wanted to see if we could roll it and we'll land it here. Can it roll? Oh, it rolls, but man, that's a Whee! challenge. I've, I've had worse, actually. I've had much worse, so that's not too bad. <laughs> There's full throttle. And it's porpoising some because I still need it trimmed up. It's got a little climb to it, so. Porpoising, then, just kind of like a roller coaster. Just like I use them up, down, up, down, like this. And that's because I was compensating for it. That's me compensating to show you what porpoising looks like. That just usually means the airplane's climbing some and I'm having to push down to compensate for it. And so I need to trim that up so I don't have to do that. Just uh, first time flying this particular exact Prodigy, I think is the name of it. And, no, uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. That's Good right. try. Prodigy is the bigger version of this, Good right? try. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> so that was close. He doesn't there, even know what no, he's flying. There's a larger version <laughs> of this little airplane. It's a pusher. It's the same company, and I think that one's called the Prodigy. I could be wrong, but this is a great, great beginner airplane. Let's go ahead and land it. Well, you know what? I want to catch it, but we're going to do a belly landing. Ah, perfect. Good flights. Nathaniel. Oh, oh well, huh, that's not my name. Thank you. Not my name. If people start calling me in the comments do that, it, do I it. will block you. Comment. Comment it. Get do blocked. It, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's not very often we get more than one plane in a video. And I thought, you know what? These are kind of similar uh, sizes. Not this one, of course, but the T-33 and the Bay Hawk, similar sizes. And I thought it might be fun just to launch them both in one video. So, um, let me know what you think. These will be linked in the description box below, all three of these, and the sale that should be going on, if not now, very soon. But I think it's like this week. I think it just started. Keep an eye out for it, but there should be a sale for you. And using that link does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. If you get enjoyment or maybe you learn something from our videos, like, hey, here's a hot tip. I don't know if I, let me show you in this one. I use a secret weapon to hold my receivers in now. It's not glue. It's the best thing ever. It can come out, but it's, it doesn't want to come out. And it's anti-vibration in there as well. So I also use it instead of just this foam, I'll put a piece under the foam or if the foam's getting not so sticky, I'll take that off and put my secret weapon in there. So I link that in the description box. And let's talk about these batteries really fast. So these are coming in at half the price of a lot of the batteries I own and fly on. And I think that's super cool. If you buy a two pack, it literally is half the price. It's like $15 battery. And that performance was insane. Also linked in the description box. So using those links is what helps to support our channel and our family. If you found that tool or tip or just enjoyment useful, it doesn't cost you anything extra. So uh, we really appreciate it. Having said that, I also want to say I highly encourage you guys fly with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. We're gonna see some new pilots because of that little airplane, the Hawkeye. So I wanna see you guys also signing up for AMA and representing our RC hobby at its finest. Don't do stupid things. Don't fly over people's houses. Don't, you know, there's just some YouTube channels out there doing some crazy things. And it's one thing to do crazy things on your own private property. It's another to publicly post it and encourage stupid, crazy things. So if you fly with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, you're way less likely to do stupid, crazy things and just stop posting that stuff online, guys. But that'll be linked in the description box below too. I want to say a massive thanks to God too, because this whole week we've been struggling with wind and you guys know that you have, you have heard the wind in the videos. So just for a nice calm, beautiful evening to fly three planes in one video for you guys. I want to say a massive thanks to God, but not just for this awesome moment, every aspect of our lives. I'm grateful and I hope that you guys are finding some level of gratitude in your life as well, even on the hard days, because I promise you power through that hard day and you're going to have a good day right around the corner. Helping us achieve those great days are our Patreon supporters. And I'd like to say a massive thanks to our Patreon family members because you guys have our backs more than you know, more than a lot of people in our lives. And we're very grateful for it. So I wanna say a massive thanks from the bottom of my heart and my family's heart for supporting our channel and our family as well. The hill can be deceiving at times. I got nervous on that one. 
This was a blast, I had a great time, but there's still more fun to be had on our channel. We've got thousands of videos of RC fun for you guys to check out. So Abby and I are gonna hand pick one of our favorite RC plane videos for you to go check out right now. Thanks a lot for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.